Hello. You're welcome. This lesson is meant for primary one, term two, unit two. And our main topic is pattern or printmaking and lettering. The sub direct printing. What is our objective for this lesson? To print images directly from objects and arrange them to form patterns and letters. What tools do we need to perform this task? One, we need a texture surface like a tree back. leaf like this which we can apply color on either the front or the back side another leaf like this one We need a pen or a pencil. And a container to mix our colors. But a tip for you. In order not to stain the container, you will need a foil or a covering so that when you pour the ink onto that covering or the foil, to stain the container. For example, in this case, I'm using this black poly bag as a foil. You put it inside this way. You wrap it gently. You make sure the in or the inner part is well defined, so to contain the ink that we use for the direct print. What materials do we need for this lesson? We need color. Either a poster color, acrylic, or color of this nature. We also need some papers. Or a card. What skills are kids going to get when this deal is done? One, self-evaluation. Two, printmaking. Three, observing. Four, pattern making. And five, creativity. What values? Patience. Concentration and independence. Talking about how to demonstrate this lesson, take people out to observe the arrangement of things in nature and collect items for direct printing. For example, if you have fauna or trees, flowers, Around you can go around and pick some of the leaves, or even a tree back around campus. If you have none of this, you can use your palm or the thumb to also do direct printing. When this is done, the next action is to guide people to mix the color or the paste they would use for printing. First, guide people to observe and talk about direct printing. 
give them an example and ask them in return to share with you what they think about direct printing. Guide people to make prints from other materials. Example, sticks, boxes, containers, pieces of foam, any surface that is textured enough to impact some impression on a substrate or paper. At the end of the lesson, guide people to make prints from natural and on natural objects and arrange them to form a pattern or letters. And guide the students or the pupils to compare and study the differences and similarities in the work they've produced. We need to see how this is going to play practically. So let's go do a practical lesson for this very lesson. Let's go. Hi, we are welcome to the demonstration section of primary one, step two, unit two, with the topic printmaking pattern making and lecturing with our subtopic direct printing. Here, the first thing you need to do as a teacher is to help your students or your pupils go around their immediate environment. It may be their school field, canteen or anywhere and pick objects in the environment which has interesting surfaces or textured surfaces for direct printing. The tools and materials we need for this demonstrations are our materials. I have colors which you can use poster colors, any color that can make an impression. I have water which I use to mix the colors. Papers which will serve as our support for the printing. These are my natural objects. You can use natural or artificial objects. So this is a tree back, this is a leaf. And this is an artificial object, styrofoam. I have containers for mixing the colors. So before we start, you pick the colors you want. This is color red. And I'll take a bit of it and dilute it with a little water. This is an improvised brush which will help me to mix my color very well. So in this case, we are going to make our prints from a leaf and a styrofoam. We'll make the prints to form a pattern. So I'm going to do it in such a way that one print of this, then another print of the leaf. So I'll start with the artificial one.
So this is our final print. And with this, pupils are familiar with arrangements of either chairs in their classrooms or arrangement of things in their immediate environment. So as a teacher, you have to allow your pupils to explore and make them do their own arrangements. Let them go around, find objects in their environment, things that are interesting, things with texture surfaces, so that they'll pick it and allow them to explore, guide them to do a good job. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you in the next video.